You need to hear this if you're a dreamer, a procrastinator, or the person who watches thing happen and not doing anything about it. Why wait for someday? Ever catch yourself saying, someday I will travel the world. Someday I will go to Hawaii, to Japan, Singapore, Dubai, to Europe, the Philippines and other countries. Someday I will write my book, buy a house, lose this weight, and someday I will finish my college degree. Someday, when I retire, I will vacation more, spend more time with my family and spend my money. Someday you'll chase that crazy dream. But here's the kicker. Someday is a trap. What if someday never comes? Someday is a sneaky way of delaying happiness, of letting fear and uncertainty call the shots. Life is happening right now, in this very moment. The more we postpone our joy, the more we risk missing out on meaningful experiences. We tell ourselves we'll be ready when we have more money, more time, healthier, or have more confidence. But what if those are just excuses disguised as reasons? Waiting for the perfect moment is like waiting for a unicorn to give you a ride to work. It's a fantasy. My neighbor in Hawaii who was a welder for Pearl Harbor for more than 30 years retired. He never vacationed or went anywhere waiting for his retirement to enjoy his life. After a few months of retiring, he just became a couch potato, watched TV and ate all day and didn't move much. After a few months, he became bloated, got so sick and died of a cardiac arrest. His dreams all gone in an instant. He thought he had more time to live. He took his life for granted. The biggest mistake that people make is that they never thought they will ever die. They think that they always have more time. Time, my friends, is a very expensive commodity. You can't waste it. Once you use that time, you can never ever get it back. Don't let that be you. We convince ourselves that we need to wait for the stars to align before we can go after what we want. We need more money. We need more time. We need to lose weight, gain experience, or find the mythical right person to share it all with. These are thought traps, my friends. Fear whispers in our ears, telling us we're not good enough, smart enough, or ready enough. But here's the secret. You'll never feel truly ready. Life doesn't come with a guarantee, and there will never be a perfect moment to start living your dreams. You are only young and strong once. You can't go back in time because time waits for no one. The only difference between those who live their dreams and those who don't is action. Action speaks louder than words. It's about taking that first step, even if it's messy and imperfect. The turtle doesn't move until it sticks its neck out. Take that chance. Do something. The more you act, the less power those limiting beliefs have over you. So what are you waiting for? The time to break free from your self-imposed limitations is now. I don't think people understand the illusion of perfect timing. We often fall into the trap of believing there's a right time for everything. We'll start that business when the kids are older. We'll travel the world when we retire. We'll pursue our passions when we have more time. But here's the thing, life doesn't wait for anyone's schedule. The kids will grow older, yes, but new responsibilities will inevitably arise. Time, my friends, is a precious and limited resource. Don't let the illusion of perfect timing rob you of the experiences that matter most. There will always be a reason to wait, a reason to postpone your happiness. Don't deprive yourself by waiting for a moment that may never come. Small steps, big difference. You don't need to have it all figured out to start living a more fulfilling life. Start small. You can go to the park, walk and meditate. If you have a pet dog, take him for a stroll. Breathe fresh air. It's free. Take baby steps. What's one thing you've always wanted to do but have been putting off? Maybe it's learning a new language, taking a pottery class, or simply spending more time in nature. Whatever it is, make a commitment to yourself to take one small action towards that goal today, and then another one tomorrow. Momentum is a powerful force. The more small steps you take, the easier it becomes to take bigger ones. Remember, even the longest journey begins with a single step. You don't need permission to live. Stop waiting for someone else to give you permission to live the life you desire. You don't need your parents' approval your partner's blessing, or society's validation. This is your life. You steer it where you want, and you are the author of your own story. It's time to start writing the chapters you want to read. Create the memories you want to create with the people you love. Society and our own family sometimes loves to put people in boxes, to tell us who we should be and what we should want. But you are not a robot programmed to follow a predetermined path. Embrace your individuality. Celebrate your uniqueness. 
Always be who you are. God created you to be who you are, not someone else. Don't be afraid to stand out from the crowd and pursue what sets your soul on fire. You have the power within you to create a life that is authentic, meaningful, and fulfilling. So go out there and create it. Start today, not tomorrow. The time for procrastination is over. The time for excuses is gone. The time to live is now. Don't let fear, doubt, or uncertainty hold you back any longer. The world is full of possibilities and your dreams are waiting for you to chase them. Start that business. Write that book. Learn that language. Travel to that far off land. Experience all the things that make you laugh and dance. The only moment you have any control over is this one. Start today and never stop exploring the incredible potential that lies within you. Live your best life now. Your journey starts now. Please be kind and remember to subscribe, comment, and like our channel. Your input is truly appreciated.